at noon, a new tool for law enforcement in Miami-Dade County to keep them safe. They will have new protective enhancement gear to help when responding to special calls. Local 10 News reporter Trent Kelly live in Miami to show us how it all works. Trent. Yeah, Gio, this new gear is designed to be used by officers who could potentially find themselves in a violent situation, such as when transporting an inmate or controlling large crowds. While this gear is already used by police forces in Israel, Miami-Dade will become the first county in the U.S. to use it, along with at least four other agencies across our area. It allows for protection as well as movement, which is very important in a dynamic situation. Miami-Dade police officials unveiling new gear today designed to better protect officers in situations that could potentially turn violent. If you're within a large crowd, the people uh, before you might be absolutely uh, honest, good people in big quantity, but there's someone in the rear that means to do you harm and you may not have the ability to react to that person because you don't even see them. So this allows the officers to be prepared. The new protective enhancement gear, or PEG for short, is currently used by police in Israel and is designed to better protect officers while also allowing for more flexibility. This suit has the ability to be worn with body armor underneath and or inserted, as well as what we call a rifle plate right, which is even more enhanced protection. That can all be added in addition to. Additionally, we'd be looking at a helmet. On top of being more versatile, the new gear is also fire resistant and better protects officers against blunt force trauma, as seen in this demonstration video where someone wearing the gear is repeatedly hit by a metal bat. This is the equipment that aligns the inside, and what it does is that it distributes the blunt force trauma so that the person is not being impacted in one spot. Right? And as it stands right now, the county only has that one demonstration suit available to use, but they are hoping to order up to 100 other suits as well. The exact price of those still being negotiated by county officials. By the way, in addition to Miami-Dade police, officials are hoping officers from several other agencies will be able to use them as well, including officers from Coral Gables, North Miami, and Miami Beach. For now, that is the latest live from downtown Miami. I'm Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.